What's going on? Shea Carl here. About to jump off a 400 foot rope swing. Take a gander at the cavernous depths below. We're about to defy gravity with two ropes. I like to call them Flepsum and Jepsum. These are our two harnesses. I'm gonna hook those in. And <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Why are we doing this? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna swing out into space and uh, hopefully not hit the wall. So is this what you do for a living? Mm -hmm. You jump off of stuff? I'm a professional swinger. You know, it's all You're started. a swinger. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I also like to hang on ropes. <laughs> <laughs> My wife doesn't know that. Yeah, no, I'll, we'll, we'll make sure she never sees this interview. <laughs> But a little taste of it. I went out there on this high line and got my adrenaline. But now, like, you know, when we first came here this morning, you know whenever you look over an edge, it's like you see it, you're like, thought, it's, it's not almost like a thought of, like, you want to jump off, but you think the thought of, what if I jumped off of that? And that's what gives you that, like, oh, feeling you want to get back. Yeah. But now seeing the rope set up and imagining that I am going to literally be jumping off of this. Yeah. It's like this way. It's yeah. real in my mind. Yeah, but coming back this way. Adrenaline is pumping through my veins. So, so is this kind of like doing this sort of stuff legitimately like kind of what you do? No, no. I just do this when I can. I'm a, I'm a vlogger. I'm a daily vlogger. Yeah, but this has got to be good for that. Heck yeah. My job is to live my life to the fullest. And this is definitely filling my life <laughs> yeah. up to the brim. People will enjoy this. Full. Your friends. This to the max. And what else have you done like this where you're just like, you know, this is part of my life. So I'm going to go do this and uh, this is going to be good. Let's see, bungee jumping, skydiving, hang gliding, um, zip lining. And I think this is probably the most extreme out of all of them. Just as far as scope and scale. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Definitely. And so, but you're, you're here able to do a bunch of videos as well, kind of of the experience. Yeah, I'm making, I'm making like a behind the scenes video and, you know, just kind of like... The behind the scenes how yeah we got up. we got Devin over there doing his video yeah, you're doing lunch. videos yeah there's plenty of you've footage. been doing videos for years and years I, how long uh, have you been doing coming this? up March 5th like in a month and a half from now I will have been making a daily video on YouTube every single day for four years for four years so that's, like that's 14 13 14 videos. yeah yeah I've got like the 15 in a row so you're 15 you got to keep that train going yeah that's gonna be the money shot and Jay, the don't do it. Don't do helicopter. it. I gotta Think do it. Think twice. He's, it's safe. He warned you. He may poop his pants, you, but he'll be safe. That was a real concern. I was thinking, what if I poop my pants? Go poopy for it. That'd be so embarrassing. They won't even want to pull me up. They're like, ooh, you're poopy. We'll just cut the rope and get a new rope. <laughs> And, uh, but like, what is the, to what extent, because I interview a lot of artists, to what extent do you see the art in what you do for a living? That's a good question. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, that's kind of the reason why we go to Because if you, if you say there is no art, then I have to just delete yeah, this interview. This the art is life. Uh, just sharing uh, experiences. You know, art is subjective, I guess. You can call whatever you want. Uh -huh. But really, I'm just sharing my life and, you know, how I live my life through my eyes. For instance, you know, I had a, a nine-year-old Great Dane who died. Yeah. And the audience who has started following me over these last couple of years, they got to see that whole process. And then just like, you know, anybody who's ever had a dog that's lost a dog got to see me go through that kind of grieving process. And he yeah. was like my baby. He was our yeah, first all, you know, kid. I, me and my wife have four kids, but we had this great Dane before we had any of those. I lost 115 pounds and I did it all while I was making these videos every day. So it's kind of okay. like a reality show on YouTube. I like Instagram. That's where my You do a lot of is. pictures, huh? Yeah, I love, I love, uh, because I've been filming so much and watching so many YouTube videos, I've kind of got an eye of like, I like certain perspectives of things. So I love taking So you're putting some art into the way that you film as well? Yeah, a little bit. No, I mean, mostly it's just handheld. This mm -hmm. is my paintbrush, I guess. If I do art, this is my paintbrush. Yeah, okay. And I just hold it right out here. I've strengthened my vlogging arm. This is a strong vlogging arm. <laughs> yes. This may look easy to hold a little camera out here like this. It's not. And also it takes a lot of courage to walk through a, you know, a mall or a supermarket talking yeah. to your into this little box. Yeah. You get a lot of like 
What's that guy like, talking? What's that guy doing? But You've gotten better around. at being uh, less self-conscious totally, and being. Totally. Yeah, it doesn't even bother me now because I figure, you know, my videos average about 200,000 uh, video views a day. So I figure more people are listening to me through this thing than I'm getting like people looking at me. With. Okay. So I just think there's more people that care through this lens than are just like at the supermarket seeing some crazy guy walking around talking to this little white box. And the creativity aspect of what you do is... It's is all off the cuff, you know, it's just four, like... 1,400 videos, it's like... Right, what do you do after, you know, after you've made 100 videos of your life, what do you do? But I do voiceover for my kids. Like, I, when I had my dog, I'd always, I'd have this, like, ER voice. Oh, hey, guys. And just whatever comes off of my head, off the top of my head. Uh -huh. I like to create funny situations. And oh, that's cool. And, uh, well, I, apparently a lot of people already follow you, and not that, you know... My audience may already do that. Subscribe but if you if you don't know who yeah. I am. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Yay. Shaytards, put the link below. Yes, I think I've done that once before. Yeah, you got a link. You got to link things. I do. I remember the first time I, I I was supposed to link this guy's video, and I just put his website. And he said you have to put the HTTP, and I'm like, what is that? I don't know what that yeah. is. Yeah. The hyperlink. But, uh, I'm about to actually. I'm gonna go out on this thing again. You are. Yeah. Okay. While we're waiting, I want to get my adrenaline going again. I'm going to go, I'm going to go across there. So this is, this is, this is Shay. This is, he lives his life. How's the basketball? But he finds creative ways to make it, uh, you know, kind of connect with people and share his life with others. Totally. And I love, you know, just like... Uh, and they should follow you on Instagram because you're doing a lot of pictures check there. Check that out. Shay Carl. Or on Twitter. Or Facebook. Yeah. I have like 800 websites you can check out. Yeah. Check out my basket weaving channel. It's right below. <laughs> God, I've done 18. I've got a lot of work to do now. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of links to, to find. Link. <laughs> it. Okay, well, we will uh, maybe uh, link the video. Check me out on of you. Super Tramps rope swing. Video. I know. Oh, I'll, I'll awesome. link a video of you doing this thing too. Yeah. All right, check it. I've got to, Oh, and uh, one last thing. One last thing is how should I end my video? <laughs> I was like, I gotta yeah, come up with something where I just like I each punch time. Punch the camera. All right, thanks for checking it out. Here we are, live on location, having a blast. <laughs> See you guys later. Whoa.